My God, hi. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm Coach Ty with Muscle Wiki. This is Andrea. And we're going to be taking you through both the knee tuck and the leg raise hanging from a bar. So we'll go through some form to do, stuff not to do, of course, as usual. Um, what does the knee tuck and the leg raise train? Well, primarily the abs. Is the move effective? Definitely. These elicit quite a high amount of ab activity in the EMG study. So I would say yes, this is a very effective ab move. Good. Will this move give you a six pack? This is a very commonly asked question all across the internet. It's, it's kind of a trick question. It's not exactly, I don't wanna say it's a bad question, but it's not maybe the right question. Every human has abs. An exercise will not give you abs. If you did not have abs, you would not be able to stand upright. Your abs keep you in conjunction with your obliques and your spinal erectors. They help keep your torso upright. So you have abs. The problem most people have is a layer of body fat on top of the abs. So what you need to do is lose your body fat. So you can thicken your abdominal wall, those muscles hypertrophy, just like any other muscle does. However, again, just doing a million of these and doing a lot of planks and doing a lot of sit-ups is not gonna quote unquote give you abs. What you should be looking to do is reveal your abs through being in a caloric deficit. Performing the actual exercise. Now, you can use either a bench or a box, or you can just hop up there. I recommend using a bench or a box purely because when you jump up, there's usually a little bit of swinging. And as we're gonna talk a little bit more about, we wanna try to prevent swinging as best we can. So again, start on a bench or a box, take an overhand grip, and then slowly and gently, you wanna step each foot off of your box or your bench, and then hang for a second. Again, to prevent any swinging from happening. Now we're gonna start with the knee tuck and then we'll progress to the leg raise here in a second. So you wanna imagine you're trying to pull your knee straight up toward the ceiling. And then fully extend at the hips. Yep, perfect. All right, let's knock out a few of these. Let's go to six. Now you should be aiming to get your hamstrings to parallel. If you can go higher than that, then great, you should. A longer range of motion is always desirable. Okay, so our first progression on these is adding a dumbbell to our knee tuck. So once you come off of your bench or box, make sure you pause for a second and hang to stop any swinging. And then from there, the exercise is essentially the same. Set the dumbbell up vertically on the bench, wrap your feet around it, and then come off the bench and hang for a few seconds. From there, same exercise, just pulling your knees up toward the ceiling. And that's the hanging knee raise. Let's go to the hanging leg raise. Leg raise is largely the same thing. So we wanna gently and slowly step off of the box, hang for a second to make sure you're not swinging back and forth. And then we wanna keep our knees mostly extended. Now you are gonna have a slight bend in your knees, so if you do, that's totally fine. That will largely be a product of your, of all things, your rectus femoris mobility, okay? So you wanna to try to get your legs to parallel with the ground as well. If you can go higher, that will be considered a progression, a toes to bar, which again, we'll show you here in a second. Four, I mean one more. Oh, he's getting tough. He's getting tough. Last one, and extend. Our progression for our leg raise is the same. We're gonna add a dumbbell between your feet. Again, set the dumbbell up vertically on the bench. Come off the bench slowly, make sure you're not swinging, and then initiate the set. And then we have our final progression here, toes to bar. And this is a pretty tough move, so only try this one after you're pretty familiar with the leg raise itself. The first half of the move is a leg raise and then you're trying to bring your toes to the bar, as the exercise name suggests. Also, you can see me rounding my spine a little bit here. Under normal circumstances, I would say do not round your spine ever at all. However, these studies here on the screen show that a little bit of spinal flexion, particularly when training the abs, isn't necessarily a bad thing. So check those studies out in the description when you get a chance. All right, moving on to our do nots. Very simple in playing with these, swinging. As you can see here, Andrea stepped off of the bench and went directly into the reps. And what that will usually cause is 
exactly what you're seeing is way too much swinging. So we wanna limit that as best we can. And then same thing here, I came off the bench and swung my legs forward, which led to swinging. Also feel free if you're in a cable crossover or a squat rack to reach one of your feet out and use the bars to stop yourself from swinging. All right, that's it guys for both the leg raise and the knee tuck. Thank you guys as, as always for listening. Thank you, Coach Andrea, for helping me out. And we will see you with the next one. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you want to hear from us next. And we'll see you with the next one. Deuces.